All right, so let's continue starter. Settle in for the evening. The journey to 10 million. You know, one thing I didn't do, I did not keep track of how much money I had at the end of year three, which I guess I can go back and look myself, but. So I know when I've made the 10 mil. I guess if I make 11 mil, it's obvious, I think. Jeez, that took longer than usual. All right, anyway. Oh, it's the egg hunt. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I didn't put a sign on this. Okay, we're cool, we're cool. Um, petrified slime. Uh-oh. I might have to crack some omni geodes for this one, unless I, I by some miracle, saved one. We'll see. Apparently I'm just missing hardwood. Okay, look, let's just leave that for now. Oh, no, wait, I see what I've done wrong. Okay. Seems like it's keeping up. Which is a puppy fish, okay. Got to swap my headset battery. There we go. Otherwise, it's going to complain constantly.
feels so much lighter than what it is. I still got a lot to do. Off to Wario Park. Um, do I want another fish pond? I'm just thinking. I guess even if I put one here, I don't really have any spot to put. Yeah, no, I think I think we'll be okay. Maybe. If this pond wasn't here, I'd, I'd do it. Okay, uh, still got a lot to do. Island time.
trying to think what's the best way to spend the rest of my day, in all honesty. I mean, I think I need to go get more wood. getting hardwood. Go, go, speed. Just looking at this, like, let's say I did get this land instead of keeping apples around. Like, what would I even do with this, really? Unless somehow the land changes, which I guess they did say they were going to fix it up. Maybe the front of it becomes land that I can actually use. Because right now, a lot of it's just barren.
Mm -mm -mm. How much wood have I got on so far? Alright, I mean... Considering I've only been here half the day. Less than half. I'd say this is alright. didn't register right away. Okay, before I start the next day, give me like 30 seconds. I just need to go change the air conditioning because it's not really hot anymore. Just this room because of the computers, it gets hot. <laughs> Hello, child. Are you neglected? No, okay. This one's still a little neglected. Oh uh, yeah, right, it's the festival. Increase the number of auto petters. <laughs> I don't know if you can buy them. Can you buy them? Hello, is it Twitch yet? How's it going? Can you... I think you have to play Jojo Mart, right? Unless I can somehow get one from a drop. Yeah, I've never seen them on sale. Guessing it's just a Jojo Mart thing. Oh, no, 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 no. You found one in the Hard Mine Skull Cave. Yeah, that's where I found mine. Pretty early. I just haven't found another since. Okay. 
I'm curious, if I make a Junimo hut now, will it- will they start working right away? I'm gonna find out. Ooh, do I have the stone though? Hang on. Junimo hut, how much do you cost? Do people do the Jojo out? Uh, not according to TikTok. <laughs> Because one of the videos I put up there went viral and, like, someone mentioned that they, uh, did the Jojimart route. And, uh, the response seemed to be pretty universally, like, why did you do that? Why would you do that? Start again! <laughs> I think people do it for the Steam achievement and nothing else. Um. Oh, but it, I can't go to town. Can't go to the mines. Because it's just, uh, you have to pay for everything. I did one playthrough once and I just called it the sellout farm. My character was green and just, yeah. <laughs> it was just for the sake of getting all the achievements on Steam. That's it. I guess I won't be able to- Oh, this sucks. I have to do this manually. And my character's Wario, for reference. Um, the auto petters, I don't think they're available right away. I think it's whatever their equivalent of bundles are. I think eventually they make them available for sale. Like, it's not something that's right away. It goes towards the whole, like, corporate thing that's they don't really show any love, they just, uh, instead use a machine to do it. I don't think the animals start producing better, better quality stuff if you use the auto petter. You have to pet them. It's kind of so the uh, friendship level doesn't go down, more or less. So you still have to pet them, which kind of makes sense. It's like, if you have something that doesn't really receive any love, then yeah, maybe it'll just not give you anything back. I bet the animals are just angry. Do I really want to go to this egg festival thing? Like, what's... It's just gonna finish my day up, and it's more just for the sake of going. I don't know, man. I 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing any, um, warrior stuff tonight. Like, I've had a bit of a long day, so I don't want to hurt my voice. <laughs> I'll, uh, forego the typical warrior stuff. But I'll refund the points. I'm keeping some of the stuff. Just get rid of it. Okay. You padded your animals, but they're needy. You don't have time to do it every day. I suppose if the end res... No, because... The end result does matter, in some cases. Like, even if your eggs are destined to become mayonnaise, it still affects the quality of the mayonnaise that you get. So to some degree, you still have to do it. No, not you. Yes. Alright. I've only won once because they've mixed it up too much. Oh no. <laughs> I may have lost this already. I fired up the game and went into another file that had vanilla, so non modded. And I did not recognize the desert map anymore. <laughs> I just. I'm so used to this new one. That I, uh, I kind of got lost. Did I win? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. In vanilla, I think none of the characters can get more than five. Like, you, you get six eggs and you win. I think they bumped up the difficulty. Anyway. Another thing I've noticed is they have two paths now. It's not the same as before. Used to have this path I would take, and every time, easy win. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You don't really get much from it anyway. You get a farmer's hat and... What's the other part of it? I think it's only a thousand gold, which at this point, eh. That's why I was questioning whether or not I should even go, because I could probably make a thousand gold just chopping some trees down and selling the wood. I suppose in the interest of making ten million, I should probably not go to the events anymore. Unless I have to. Tomorrow, I'm gonna open Omni Geodes, I think.
creepy kid. Go to bed. I don't know if that's a bug or something, but sometimes I go to bed, but then other times I just kind of stand in the middle of the kitchen for no reason. <laughs> Have you moved at all? If I wanted to be really dark about this, I could put one of the like one H next to each bed. That, that's that's very dark. I'd have to find another one, though. I don't think there's any way to get it. Okay. Uh, I think... <laughs> I think I got enough. I don't know. Make them share the petal? How do you do that? I already am. Yeah, but there's no guarantee they're sharing it. Before, you know, one of them could be hogging it. The other one just hogs it. Feels younger sibling man. <laughs> uh yeah, I mean look, I'm an older sibling and I can I can definitely attest to that, however. If you're not a completely horrible older sibling, you will stop that. I mean man, like, yeah, I The brother underneath me, yeah, probably copped a bit of that as we were growing up together, but the other two, yeah, that was nice. I got them stuff that I couldn't have as a kid for Christmas and just a bunch of nice things an older brother should do. What do you want, anyway? Pineapple. Okay, uh, let me see where Petrified Slime hangs out. Petrified Slime. Oh. Yeah, so it comes from an Omni Geode. But if I had a Slime Hutch, that would be a simple way to get it. Okay. Uh... I guess just do an Omni Geode, I got plenty. I think. Uh, yeah, 274. That might be enough, I think. Just a hunch. Uh, 
I will say one thing I never did was do the whole, like, pretend the other controller was plugged in. I, I never did that. But I know that's a common one to do to the younger sibling. I guess what was great was, like, for the youngest two, um, it was during the Wii era, so, like, a lot of Wii games had, I guess, a younger sibling mode where the younger sibling could do something just by waggling the controller. Like, Mario Galaxy, for example. That was such a great game to play because I could play it and then just pass the controller to one of them and they'd be happy because something would be happening on screen. Like... That's such an underrated thing, that feature. I'm gonna go to the sewers real quick. I think I put my staff root back. I put my staff root back. I wish it had lock auto stack. Yeah. I'm surprised the mod doesn't point that out like that. You can harvest uh, spring onions. Oh, wait, what am I doing? In here. The problem is, I don't have fiber, and it's for a very good reason. It's any time I'm collecting it. I eventually have to throw it away because I need space to keep a more valuable item, so I've just never been able to amass it. Watch it rain. The moment I have all my huts, it's gonna start raining, and then they won't do anything. Uh, I'm trying to think. I guess this one would cover a bit of this, so... It probably makes sense to put one here first. Okay. I didn't get time to go to Badlands yesterday. Oh. 
Okay. Time for souls. Okay, I mean, we're getting there. <laughs> it's like t almost 24 of them. Oh, well, I guess the I'm gonna run out of Void Essence, but... I think the important ingredient is, is there. And I can just run around with constant maximum speed. Um, pineapple. Get the pineapple. Keep forgetting. And I put the geodes back, and it's already past 5.30, so I can't crack them open unless I use the... the thing. Which, I'll just wait. Wait, what did I... Oh, hang on. Let me color code these. That's vegetable. That's fruit. Now I know. Um, this is, I guess, still vegetable. Okay. Tomorrow, I'm going to set something else up. Probably the slime hutch, but then I'm, I'm going to do another shed.
I wonder if... Oh no, sorry. <laughs> I wonder if the area in Badlands where you have the upgraded versions of these enemies, if it's neutral as well. Not gonna lie, like, there's been at least four times already where I'm just about to swing against these. It's just, especially these ones that run at you, like, still thinking they're gonna attack me. Except the mud ones, the mud ones I still have to be careful. Come on. I thought that one was normal. Not bad. It's approaching a hundred thousand each time. Ah, oh, salmon berries, right? Uh, I mean, I don't think it's worth it. I'm just gonna ignore it. Like, if there's one right next to me, I'll grab it, but I'm not going to go out of my way.
I don't think these will ever catch up. I think I should just put some into the other ones. Okay, anyway. Uh, carpenter's shop. How much does it cost? Five hundred stone. I have five hundred stone. Uh, ten quarts and one bar. And also grab these to open. Okay. I think we're good. Uh, I guess I have a little time before they open. See, like that. I'll grab it when it's like that. Directly in front of me. Oh. I thought this was a house for some reason. That's not what I was expecting, because it looks like a castle usually. This, this looks like a house. Oh, crap. Um, right, okay. Let's just put it wherever... Can I not... Okay, I can put it here. I'm gonna clear stuff up and then I'll... I'll move it. <laughs> that would have been funny if I couldn't place it down because of one little stone everywhere. Uh, okay. Uh, that's done. Wait, what did you want? Mushrooms, yeah. I forgot to get them. Where is the mushroom? Here. Okay. Better be here, Clint. <laughs> okay. Alright, fingers crossed. Just need... Petrified slime. My farm looks good. It's inspiring my deals up a bit. Do it. Share it if you do. I always like seeing what people do from a design perspective. It doesn't have to be all at once, like, I still got a lot I want to do. And this is not me thinking about, oh, I'm gonna make a video or do content later, like, this is just how I am. When I play games, when I can do something creative, I'll do it.
I do wish there was more options though, particularly for flooring, like... The, I think the wood and the brick ones are nice, but it would be nice if we had different pathing options, like... Um, like a, a nice dirt one, for example, instead of the gravel one. Um, maybe even some concrete that you could color. Because you can't do that in real life, right? You can get colored concrete. Or like some fancy tiles. I don't know. There's plenty of options for indoor, but not a whole lot for outdoor. I still haven't gotten the petrified slime. <laughs> okay. Um, hold on. I mean, let's just sell anything that isn't ore, more or less. Wait a minute. Did I- did I mystery it or did he say too lazy to mine? I've got lumps of raw metal for sale. Hang on. Yeah! Too lazy to mine? What- what is that? What is that, Clint? I've never noticed that before. That's like if I go to a market and they're like, Too lazy to grow your own vegetables? No problem, I'll sell them to you. <laughs> what? That's not how you talk to customers. No wonder. No wonder he doesn't get much business. It sounds like a good sales pitch. What, antagonize the customer? Imagine if I was like that. It's like, too lazy to stream? Don't worry. Watch me watch me stream instead. <laughs> Lint, what are you doing? That's not good marketing. You don't call people lazy. I mean, would you buy from him if he called you lazy? I can't believe I've never noticed that before. I just saw it in the corner of my eye when I closed the window. I was like, wait, did he just call me lazy? Please, the petrified slime is not that rare. Just, just give me it. I really didn't mean for this to be uh, an opening. To be honest, you didn't realize he sold or... It took me a while as well, um, to know that. To be- it, it's very useful in the first year, because often, um, buying 25 ore is not that expensive, and if you don't have the energy or the time to go there quickly, it's very good to do that, because, um, it just ensures you get the item, and not run out of time, because before you have the minecarts open, open for business, right? It's hard to get around town quickly, so by the time you go to the mines, get your ore, go home, smelt it, and come back, it's already over. So, first year, it's definitely a useful thing to have to buy it. And same goes for stone, like, buying 50 wood and 50 stone here, or like 25 ore as early is not a big deal. But after that, it does get pretty expensive. I think there's less need to buy it with this, uh, this mod. Since there's a lot more areas for trees. And, um, I mean, look where I'm going to get stone. There's no reason for me to buy anything from him. In vanilla, yeah. I did run out of stone quite a bit and wood, so I would buy resources. But here, I don't have to. I can't believe I haven't gotten one. Like, what's going on? This is not a rare item. <laughs> I usually end up with a stack of them. Also, what?
I just realized I've gotten two of these now. can't believe this. I'm just cursed. What? I wouldn't even call it a curse. It's like... It's just chaotic. Anytime I look for an item, it could be the most common thing ever. It'll take me forever. But then the moment I'm not looking for the item, I'll get the rarest stuff in the game. Or something crazy will happen. But the moment I start looking for something, that's when it just becomes tedious and I have to spend forever looking for it. I might keep that because it does make... There it is! <laughs> Alright. Jeez. Okay. I got it. Daddy Law. believe how long that took. Okay. Uh, I'll put that here. So, that's more or less everything I wanted to get up and running. I'm out of stone again, so, you know, I guess where we're going again. Um, I guess let's just do the rest of the morning. Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, I couldn't work this out. There's 12 animals in a barn, and yet I still end up with one extra milk somehow. Unless I'm wrong, maybe it's 14, but... I swear it's 12. Maybe it's 16, and I'm completely wrong. Okay, I'm, this is bothering me now. How long does... Uh, Deluxe Barn House is up to 12, so yeah. So how do I- how did I end up with one extra milk? I didn't have a- I didn't have milk in my inventory. Unless it's something new that the mod does where- I mean, we have gotten... Yeah, because there was that thing where animals are producing better quality stuff, but... The only- okay, the only explanation is maybe I left one in there yesterday. I'll keep close- a closer eye on it. But I'm pretty positive I, I've grabbed it every time. I don't think I've left one behind. I don't know. Damn, did I- I just sold Iridium Mayonnaise. You always seem to get plus one ancient fruit from your greenhouse. Interesting. I mean, it could just be a bug. Like, I've had... So many bugs in this game. Some of them have been great. <laughs> Others have not. I think my favorite one to happen to me, um, when I went to put the sweet- the, the gem berry, donate it to get the star drop. Um... It gave it back to me, somehow, so I didn't lose it. I'm not sure how that happened. And then, you know, um, the other day I, uh, I walked on water, right? Oh, I didn't grab fruit from here.
crap. It's out of alignment, but it's gonna... No, wait, it is today. Is it? Hang on. There's one way to know. Maybe it is today. It's every three days. Maybe I'm wrong. Ugh, it's this door. No, it's not. <laughs> I like the- I like how they look, but I'm still not used to how they look yet. Oh no, there's so much to do. Yeah, so does today. Alright, well. Let me go get the fruit first and then I'll come back here. Very nice farm. Thank you, Catwight. I'm not done yet. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of happy with how it's turning out so far. I mean, that's the goal. Before the end of this year, I have to make it look as nice as possible. And I have to make 10 million for the golden clock, so... Both of those things have to happen, one way or another. I will completely change the island farm, just not yet. <laughs> It's here now. Okay. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I had a picture in my head of how it was going to look, but I, I didn't expect it to look this good. I just need to put more decorations here. But I'll do that eventually. It's good enough for now. I did it again. I went to the desert. Because I say palm tree, and I think, oh, tropical paradise. It's the island. It's not. This is the island. The volcano is the island. <laughs> it keeps getting me. You do that too? Really? Okay, good. I don't feel bad. I don't know. I mean, I would associate the skull caverns more than the desert, so I would put, like, the skeleton or something. Because then I know, okay, skull caverns. That's what I think of when I think of the desert, not palm trees. But I, I suppose... The thing that I'm not thinking about is that the palm tree was the desert for the longest amount of time and this content, this island is new. And it's not like they could suddenly go, oh crap, the island's a bit off representation with palm tree. I guess they couldn't change it at that point. So maybe that's why it is the way it is. Put a sign in front of the obelisk with a skull in it. Not a bad idea. <laughs> uh, I might do that. If it, if it trips me up one more time, I'll do it. How about that? Uh, it's just the only problem is it's kind of going to be in the way. Alright, you know what? No, you know what? I'll do it. I'll... Get a skull sign, and then I will also put a sign in front of each other one. So, let's see. I think for here, I'll put a coconut. So then I know, okay. No, 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 wait, wait. Banana. Banana's better. 
Or pineapple? Just something tropical. Maybe the pineapple. For the ocean, I'll get a I'll get a seashell, a rainbow shell. I think that's fine. And then for the mountains, uh, what item would like represent the mountains best? I'm trying to think. What item would represent the mountains best? Oh. I'll go back real quickly. Wait, wrong chest. That represents the stuff that I want to get rid of before I do any of the normal vegetables in, in the... It didn't trip me up this time. Cute decorating, by the way. Thank you, Kat. Starting to get there. I don't know if you've seen all the decorating type stuff I've done, but... I've, I've begun. It's just balancing it with working towards the 10 million. This is my final year, so I bet I'll- yeah, I know, I know. It's a budget, so like, it is getting there. Um, I need to clear up around here. Oh, crap. I boxed myself out, but like, I couldn't- I couldn't go around and clear. Um, okay, I'll just have to wait. That was too much junk. Shouldn't I get the furniture and catalog thing before 10 mil? Well, I mean, <sighs> that's quite an investment, whereas in, I feel like I could get the 10 mil if I just focus on that. And then if I get that out of the way, then the rest of whatever remains of the year, I can dedicate 100% to decorating, and it'll probably turn out better than splitting the effort. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm, let's, let's say I got this done before... The end of fall, right? Just a miracle. That means the rest of it is just, uh, making it look nice. But my house is ugly. It's... it's... It's not as bad as it used to be. It's... At least things are kind of in the right place. I mean, sure, a few rooms are empty, but it's... It's like... It's okay. It's not... It's, let me let me put it this way. It was worse before. I at least cleaned it up. It was way worse before. I don't deny that it doesn't look as good as outside. You hate the random plant in the middle of the kitchen. Oh yeah, you can blame my wife for that one. <laughs> she was just I did some decorating and then there was a plant in the middle of the kitchen and I, I just didn't move it. So, I can blame her for that one. I had no involvement in that decision. Hey, hey Laura, how's it going? Okay, I mean, still a bit of time. Uh, it's 10 p.m., what can I do? 
They're all about all right. How about me? Ah, uh, doing okay. Just a bit of a long day today, but I'm just chilling now. The storm is just hitting here. It's very nice. Yeah, we had it, that yesterday. Like all of a sudden, it just suddenly became winter. After a pretty hot day. I think I'll go chop more wood. It was hot and humid. It looks like that's what it's going to be next week, because I noticed it's going to have storms and it's also going to be warm. So that's, yeah, that's going to be something. It's all right. Long weekend, next weekend. It's a shorter week. And I'll ask again, like, what item represents the mountain the most? If I was to put one on the sign, because I keep getting tripped up by... I'm not used to the look of the uh, obelisk for the desert versus the island one. And I keep accidentally going to the desert. Because I think... Oh, yeah. Palm tree. Right. That's totally the island, and it's not. Am I doing a three-day week? Yeah, pretty much. I took the Friday off. Is there a triangle? Well, I meant more in the sense of, like, an item that is representative of it, not trying to go for, like, an abstract, symbolic representation. Whoops. No, wait, yes, I want to sell it. Uh... Oh, I've already chopped these down. Alright, I reckon, I reckon just head to bed early. Tomorrow I gotta do stuff in the greenhouse. <laughs> he tried, it's fine. I mean, I was thinking hardwood to represent Robin, but I don't know. A bit of a stretch. What else have I got? Oh. Mm, eh, maybe. I don't know. Just looking at what I have. Yeah, there's nothing really here that screams, hey, this is the mountain. Alright, you know what, it's fine. <laughs> out of view, out of sight. I will get to the indoor eventually. I think the, it's easier for me to decorate the outdoor areas progressively because I'm outside anyway. But I'm really only indoors at the start of the day. And it just feels like a waste being in here. That's why I don't tend to do it until the very end. It doesn't look cluttered anymore, so I think this is fine for the time being. Okay, if you really want me to, like, just... Hmm. 
How about mudstone? I mean, it's not a bad idea. Could work. Put the TV in the corner. Ah. Um. See, this is what I don't like about certain things, is like... I could do- no, I can't do that. Alright. Uh, hold on. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's- it's- it's all you're gonna get for now. <laughs> just... I just don't have- I just- oh wait, hold- hold up. I took- I took, uh... Hold up, you can rotate? Yeah, you right click. <laughs> how many- how many videos am I gonna have to make? Literally made it worse. It's subjective, but I'm not touching it. Much rather, rather focus on the outside first. What's wrong with having the dining room up the back, and not in the front? I suppose if I should have moved anything, it should have been the fireplace, but eh. You just realized there is no bathroom. <laughs> You know when I played The Sims for the first time, I made just so many mistakes in terms of the housing. The very first one was that I forgot to put a bathroom and all my characters were kind of just running outside. And it took me a little bit to figure out what was going on. It's because they were busting to go to the bathroom and there was no bathroom. If I had more furniture, it wouldn't be so bad. The problem is I don't have furniture. Like, what do I have? I have I have a jukebox. I have Mayor Lewis's shorts. I could put the shorts in the middle of the floor.
You know, the one thing I don't like is that you can't alter the children's beds. I wish that you could do that. Just seems like a weird restriction. And why the crib is still there once you uh, have, uh, well, once they're not infants anymore and you have two children, there's no point to the crib. Like, I wish you could get rid of it and just put something else. Or maybe you can and I haven't tried. I don't know. I doubt it. You can go to Robin to remove the crib? Really? See, that I don't know. But you can't customize the beds or anything, right? I love how you have to go to Robin to get rid of the crib, if that's the case. Yeah. That's what I mean, I mean... I think we could do with an update that kind of focuses heavily on cosmetic stuff instead of... Don't get me wrong, I love the new areas. Always great to see new areas, but I would like to see more around just making things look nice. It's Tuesday, she's not home. And <laughs> she's working on my stuff anyway, so what am I talking about? <laughs> Either way. I can't do this now. Alright, I'll do this uh, at the first opportunity. Board of the same paths to wallpaper furniture. Uh, it's not just that, it's just... Um, I think there's just two little piles. Like, I like how the brick looks, but it'd be cool to get, like, extra color variations. We have the dye pot system. It'd be cool if you could do the same for uh, flooring. Because you can get colored concrete and stuff like that. It's not that big of a deal. You could keep the same textures and everything. Just let us pick different colors. And that would probably be enough. And maybe a few new ones, but... I mean, at a minimum, just that. Be cool. But I mean, it's not just flooring, it's... Things you can place outside to decorate. Because there's a heavy focus on indoor furniture. I don't think there's much outdoor furniture at all. Like, a bench, um, like a swing set maybe for your kids. Just stuff to make it more like a home, you know? Um, yeah. What happens if you put flooring in a sewing machine? I, I don't think it works. I, I could try, but I, I don't think it works. I mean, if we want to answer that question literally, you'll probably ruin the sewing machine, but in the context of the game, I'm probably nothing. I can try. Yeah, I'm pretty certain it doesn't work as well. Because it has a list of accepted items.
Do you know how I envision that? Like, see this up the top here? Pretty much that for parthing. I think that would be neat. Same way you can color chests just for parthing. Oh, I can't. Okay, I'll put it in a minute. That's deceiving. I thought I could stand there. I may as well check if there's a prismatic challenge available. Yeah, this is all I was trying to do. Um, just remind myself that that one <laughs> is the one that goes to the island. There we go. There we go. I should do it for all of them. It's not a bad idea. I don't have mudstone, but that is a pretty good idea for, uh, for the other one. Uh, hold on. I don't really have anything here that's representative of the mountains. The best I can think of is this, because it has a pine tree on it, but I don't know. The tree fertilizer, yeah. I think this is the best option. Because, I mean, for the well, I used a tear. It looks like a, a drop of water, so... I think it'll work. I already have one in mind for... Okay, so this one is the beach. This one is that. Yeah, that looks good. Um, I'm gonna go get a dwarf sign with the skull. So I'm thinking, like, that takes you to the skull cavern. I had a skull mask on my chest, did I? Oh. I was just gonna get, get a dwarf uh, skull sign, but I guess this will be better, because it's more visually the same. Where'd you see it, cat? I'll look through it carefully. Alright, that's not that one. Oh, there, I see it, I see it, I see it. Yep, got it. Thank you. Yeah. I like it. The skull is a bit small, but I think it gets the job done, because now I can tell which one goes where. To be fair, it's really just the desert and the, uh, the island one that messes me up, because I see the palm tree and I think, yep, tropical paradise, palm trees. But no, it means desert. Okay. I like it. Kind of goes along with what else I have on the farm. Maybe when I get the skull artifact. Oh, I can get one now. You can find one in Badlands, I just have to be careful. I can get one now. There's like a graveyard to the left, I think. I'll go get it now.
come here every day to harvest the souls so that I may end up with haste. Have, you're glad the Nexus portals have good visual representation, at least. Yeah, they, they are nice. I haven't been confused with the Nexus portals. I think it's just the fault of, um... Just the deserts being there first, I guess. From a content perspective. I'll get, more, I'll get a stack of cactus fruit to carry. I got plenty. Alright, should be around here. There's the hand. Don't want to leave my own head here. <laughs> Let's try and find it. Oh boy. There it is. Okay. I will use my handy dandy advice that I left on TikTok, YouTube, and everywhere. <laughs> Just press pause, heal up. Uh, why am I still here? I got I got what I was looking for. Okay. Yeah, that looks better. Same height. I like it. I'll keep it because sometimes I can accidentally go and touch the sign and replace what was on it, so I don't want that to happen again. So, there we go. Okay, uh, let's just get some of these, doesn't matter which ones. I just want to get rid of some of these items that are kind of just spares now. And just stick to a, a small subset. No, no. As long as I get out of here at 1.30, it's okay. I'm so bad at this. Okay. It doesn't matter if I missed one. Into bed. That'll do. I may have missed one. I gotta remember to let the title show, like I'm very quick at clicking OK. I noticed that as I was going through some of my footage, just, oh, I should have left that on screen a bit longer. Okay, I'll go see Robin and get rid of the crib. Ancient fruit day. Bumped into Robin this morning. She all right. I was like, "What is this?" No. I was into slime breeding at your age. A great hobby, but dangerous. How do you think I lost this eye? Ha! <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I've got something for you. 
I may already have another egg somewhere. It's a slime egg. You can place that inside a slime incubator to hatch it. Now take a good hard look at that egg next time you're out slime hunting. Keep your eyes peeled for more eggs. They're rare, but slimes do drop them from time to time. Collect eggs from different slimes to add variety to your herd. Okay, um, before we do that, we have to set up the look of it. Okay, I'm curious, did I, did I really miss any? Yep, one there. <laughs> Alright, I missed one. It was gonna happen. This noise is soothing, but the harvest sound? Yeah, it's part of the charm of the game. Eventually. Oh, they're okay. <laughs> Here we go. I might need more truffle machines. You know what? Okay, I have I have a, a not yet, right? Not yet. What I'm going to do I'm going to move these six down there. So then it kind of fills up this area. I'll put these below or something. Or maybe off to the side here. That's probably a better idea. I don't know. Um, Cause I got the feeling these pigs are just gonna go absolutely mental with these truffles. And I'm gonna need uh, all the space I can get. Oh, I haven't seen that before. I think all of them are starting to uh, enter maturity, so they're gonna look for truffles. Mm, 
Okay, so let's pay attention to this. Yeah, again, I, I ended up with one extra milk. And look, is it really? So it's empty. Do cows produce sometimes two milk? Because I swear I've been collecting them all each time. Weird. I'm going to put this in here for now. There's got to be a simple explanation. Again, I'm making note. In two days, we'll know. For sure. Or maybe someone will be like, yeah, they produce extra milk. But I have 12 cheese presses, so I shouldn't have any remainders. <laughs> Junimo, please. The job must be finished. Just standing there. <laughs> you know, have you ever seen there's like a construction site and there's one person doing a job and then four others kind of just standing there? Cows make milk daily, goats every, every other day. E yeah. But I guess I have 12 animals in there, right? So either way, there shouldn't be a scenario where I have one milk left over, unless I'm not collecting it. But this time, I have 100% collected all the milk, so... In two days, I should only have 12 milk put in. So let's just see what happens in two days. Like I have enough cheese presses, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, okay, now I need to move. There's got to be a simple explanation for this. It's probably the most likely explanation is that I, I just haven't collected all the milk. But this time I'm positive because I looked at the auto grabber. There's nothing there, so I have a hundred percent collected all the milk today, and I will do the same tomorrow. You know, I haven't done anything with these at all. I've kind of been waiting. I'm not sure you can make wine with them. I'm gonna have to do this twice. Because I kind of... Mess this up. All right. Um, is there anywhere I can put it that's not gonna? Jeez. Okay. I guess put put it here. As long as I can just get in. I don't want to get rid of too much grass. Okay.
check on the cheese. Yeah, it's all done. Oh, I can't paint buildings so I can only move them. Okay, fair enough. Um, I don't have time to go to Robin's. This kind of ate up more time than it should have, but oh well, it is what it is. Um, let's not make the same mistake twice. Maybe I should just put it against the river. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, maybe I do. No, I think I got time. Ah, yeah. There we go. Kill it with fire. No more children. Ever. What else can we do? I think we've done all the others. If for some reason I don't remember this, despite having adding, ha having added the other rooms. It just didn't click. Just violently destroys the crib. Don't have more children. You don't want that. hardwood. <laughs> I can't keep up. Okay. Might be wondering what I'm doing. We'll see. What? Oh. Okay. So this isn't different. Alright. Oh. 
Ups. Creativity through limitation. Okay, um, get rid of these last two. Okay. I forgot to bring hardwood fencing. I forget how people do slime hutches. Might have to look up an image. But more or less you can do it so it's safe to put um machines down to hatch. I forget how to do it. Hang on. Let me look it up. Yeah, this is the layout I'm thinking of. Okay, got it. Mostly got it correct. Oh, there's a different one. Ooh, this one's cooler. I haven't seen this one before. I mean, I think it's more or less the same. But I guess they're taking into account the egg thing you can't move, which, okay, fine. I'll do that. Oh, what am I doing? Keep getting bamboozled. I mean, I didn't bring a gate with me. Oh, this is such a waste of time. Okay, nevertheless. Wait, I can't place anything there, really? Apparently not, huh. Okay, anyway. I will probably have to continue this tomorrow at some point. <laughs> I'll do what I can, it's alright. This also helps me kind of visualize what I need to do. Okay. 
changed my mind. I was going to go get more stuff, but... Okay, just do this for now. You know what? I'll go back. I'll finish it off tomorrow. But that's loosely it. I just need to place the gate and the rest of the fencing. So you can safely water the rest of it. I just want to add a few final touches to make it look okay. Sorry, I'm just looking at this. I'll just bring everything I have. Okay. It's fruit harvest day, so I can't let this eat too much of my time. I keep thinking I can walk onto the porch, but I can't. you purposely miss the spot so you stand here to lure them this looks good to me and I mean I guess I'm gonna use both of them to begin with but like let's put that there All right Okay, and the other part I wanted to do... Where is it? There. Okay, it's just cosmetic. Think about it. Oh no, I probably shouldn't put that there actually. I need to water. Um, I need to be able to stand on it. Nah, alright. Alright, because I suppose I could still put it in there. Just kind of do that. Nearly done. Nearly done. Nearly done.
doing that. Keep going in there. Wait, no. Not yet. Yeah, I mean, more or less correct. But I guess maybe the light. Hold on. Being really indecisive about this, but hang on. Yeah, maybe that'll do. All right, I'll put a chest there. I think that should do it. I think this is set up, so. Just line the rest of it up. I think this looks nice. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm setting up a slime hutch, but, you know, I'm trying to make it, one, safe so I can go in there and not really get harassed, but two, also look visually nice, because, you know, that's what I'm all about. I've already got a backlog of truffles. Okay. I think it looks good. Probably do more in there, but for now, that's I think fine. I think. Okay. Okay, so I definitely grabbed all the milk today. It's empty. Okay, one other thing I will do now, because I think it'll look good. Might need more. I am aware that I'm using fiber to do this, and I need more fiber, but I can always grow it if I get desperate later. Okay. 
Okay, animals, please, I need you to vacate this area. <sighs> Suck. I have the perfect amount, but they won't move! Oh, well, hold on. Move. Move! 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 There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I think that little touch uh, was nice. Okay, it's fruit day. Oh, right, yeah, I don't have... I ate my last cactus fruit. I'll just get more. Okay. I really wish I could make the path all the way up. <laughs> it bothers me so much that I can't. Useful sign is useful. <laughs> I missed the cactus for it, really? Yeah. 
I saw that. Okay, let me go check. I'm sure it hasn't refreshed yet, but I'll, I'll have a look. Mm, let's see. Yeah, it's still the same thing. Um, let me just be sure, right? Yeah, so it's pretty much just the golden clock. <laughs> just making sure that I haven't overlooked anything. Okay, great. Alright, uh, I guess the rest of the day, Badlands, and just get the souls, my daily souls. Need to oil those chest hinges. <laughs> I'll use the truffle oil. Yeah, you know what? I, I, that didn't even cross my mind. It's a fair point. Hey, Kara, how's it going? Poor craftsmanship. That's probably what it is. It's going good, just getting ready for work. Ah, yep. Start of a work week. I suppose my, like, it's so weird because for me it's the middle now. Like, it's Wednesday, but for most people it's still early week. Week's gonna be nice. Half week. Jeez, I can't believe it's already been... It just looked... <laughs> I've been playing this for over two hours already. Like, it just flies. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, let's get the ball rolling on these immediately. Because <laughs> no doubt I'm going to be backed up. Okay, so let's let's look at what's going to happen in the barn. Am I gonna end up with one extra milk? I've collected all the milk. I have 12 animals in there. There should be no more than 12 milk. I need to color these as well. Okay. What? Now I have less milk. Three didn't give me milk. No. Something's wrong. I don't have all 12, like... I'm just not- I'm just not gonna pay attention to it. I'm, I'm like, confusing myself. Later on, someone's gonna point out in the comments what's actually happened, and I'm just gonna... I'm gonna chalk it up to this, I'm just beyond tired today, chat. <laughs> Goats are probably not synced up. You know what? That is a very logical explanation. But it still doesn't explain how a few, like a couple of a couple of days in a row I've ended up with 13 milk total. Like it, I, I don't, I can't explain that one. You know what? Let's just leave it. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna think about it. Out of mind. Wait, I'm already done. I think I'm already done. It's just this stuff. doing something very, very tedious for work today and I, like took what I had in terms of energy and then some to get it done. I like, I like this. Look at this. Okay, uh... Badlands, and then... We go to, uh... Highland.
I guess at some point I'm gonna have to make sure that I just get a bunch of them at the fight. Because you need quite a bit to make haste elixirs. Alright, I mean, I can just head over there, I think. Here's something uh, very scary and very Australian that I learned about today. And it adds to the stereotype that, of course, Mother Nature tries to hurt you here, but like, I can assure you, I I've been on this earth for quite some time now, and I haven't experienced any other dangers that are so typical here. But, you know, just, just learn of something else. There's a condition here called Christmas Eye that apparently is running rampant in some parts of the country right now because of the weather. So, basically what happens is there's some insect that while you're outside, you might accidentally collide with, and if it hits your eye, pretty much on impact based on what it's made out of, um... Without going into gory detail, let's just say you, you, it feels like your eye is on fire afterwards. And you have to get, like, uh... Some sort of film to put over your eye so that it heals up properly. So, that, another reason not to be outside, but like, yeah. Of, co of course such a thing exists here. It almost sounded made up as well. It was like one of those things where at, at first I wasn't sure. I was like, is this one of these things that they just tell tourists to, to scare? Or is it for real? But it's for real. Plus one protection for everyone wearing glasses. Oh no, yeah, the number one advice is like, wear sunglasses outside in summer. Not just to protect your eyes from UV, because, you know, that's another thing here. We have a very, very high UV index. Even, <laughs> even in winter. To some degree, they kind of recommend wearing a hat and uh, sunglasses outside, but it's not as essential. How can Mother Nature be out for you in man-made environments? <laughs> Flat Earth. But... Oh no. Well, I mean, how can Mother Nature be out for someone in a country that doesn't exist? Like, let's take it one step further. There are people that truly believe Australia doesn't exist and anyone from there is just a paid actor. Like, just absolutely mental. Can I still kill the creepy shadows? Yeah, but we got a peace treaty. There's no need anymore. We made peace. Is the pay good? I mean... Not to make like a highly facetious joke, but like, definitely better than what you would get in America. If 
If you kill him, does the treaty end? I, I doubt it, but I was afraid of it. Cat says no. So I'm going to believe Cat, but I'm still not going to do it because it just feels like a betrayal. Free loot to kill them. Yeah, but it's like... You don't really do anything with that loot anyway, and I'd much rather spend the time getting stone because that's more valuable to me than anything they can drop. Stone and ore lets me make more stuff for the farm, so I'd rather do that than waste my time on them. Like, that's not the reason I'm here. I'm here to... purely because now this is the best way to get stone. Hardly anything will attack me, and there's a lot of it. You'd... Okay, I said stone, not stoned, but if you want to, like, stretch the truth, sure. If you want to believe that I said stoned, see how there's a uh, duh at the end of it? Then sure. If you want to stretch my words, you can go beyond that, you know? You know what's a fun word to say? Sushi. Great word. Just rolls off the tongue. We're going to turn this into a competition of, like, pronouncing words incorrectly. Rosandle. The best weapon in Diablo 2. know what to make of that sentence like I'm not sure if you're legitimately asking something or if this is like just a bit or if it's an expression I'm unaware of like trying to row a boat with a gold ore Put your beard in the letterbox. Don't throw a bolt with a gold door. It's a semi-legitimate curiosity when I picked up gold ore. 
Your brain just brought that up. It seems like an incredibly idiotic idea. Yeah, I mean, sometimes bringing up weird things is, is a bit dumb, I agree. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't help myself, like, I, I just took that sentence extremely literally. I know what you meant. It's okay. Just, I, I like that kind of humor sometimes. Okay, uh, intermission time chat. I'm gonna make myself some tea, which will take, like, about two minutes. Uh, so I recommend getting a snack or making a beverage for yourself as well. I'll be two minutes. Uh, if you're watching this replay on YouTube later, thanks for clicking the video. And, uh, you know, press all, all, all the buttons. That's it. Comment, like, you know, if you feel like it. <laughs> Alright, bye YouTube. See ya.